Our topic for today's discussion is on cultivation of potato. Potato that is Solenum tuberosum belongs to the family Solenaceae having chromosome number twice and equal to 48. It is one of the most important crop of the world. Potato is a crop which has always been the poor man's friend. It contains about 20.6% carbohydrates, 2.1% protein, 0.3% fat, 1.1% crude fiber, and 0.9% ash, good amount of essential amino acids like leucine, tryptophan, and isoleucine, etc. The potato tuber may contain an alkaloid that is solanin, a poisonous compound if it is exposed to light, but 70% of it is removed when potatoes are peeled. This alkaloid may cause sickness or death both to livestock and human beings. Origin and history of this crop. The probable center of origin of potato is in South America in the central Andean region. Evidence indicates that potatoes were cultivated for centuries by South American Indians and the tubers were used as a common article of food. Potato was introduced to India from Europe in the beginning of the 17th century, probably by the Portuguese, who were the first to open trade routes to the east. Cultivation of potato in northern hills started later than plains but became as a cash crop much earlier. Cultivation of potato started first in the Nilgiri Hills in the year 1822. Now let's have a look on the area and distribution of this crop. Major producers of potato in the world are China, Russia, Federal, Poland, USA, Ukraine, Germany, Netherlands and the UK. The major potato producing belt in India are Himachal Pradesh, Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Gujarat, West Bengal, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Uttaranchal, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and Assam. Potato is grown in almost all the parts of the states in India. Now let's see about the economic uses of this crop. In India, it is used only as a vegetable. Sometimes it is also mixed with other vegetables. It is also used for making of chips, halwa, gulab jamun, rajgula, murabha, kheer, gujia, and barfi, etc. Persons with neurotic and liver dyspepsia digest it well. Potato grind into a paste is applied as plaster to burns caused by fire with good results. Potatoes are also used for the production of dextrin and glucose. As a food product itself, potatoes are converted into dried products such as potato chips, sliced or shredded potatoes, etc. Now let's see about the classification of this crop. A total of seven cultivated species were domesticated and they remain the most important crop in the high Indian regions where the greatest genetic diversity of cultivated potato is concentrated. Of the cultivated species, the commercial potato generally belong to two species, Solenum endigenum and Solenum tuberosum while solenum tuberosum is more common, having shorter and thicker stem, larger and wider leaflets. Now let's see about the soil types required for this crop. Potatoes can be produced on a wide range of soils, ranging from sandy loam, silt loam, loam and clay soils. Well-drained sandy loam and medium loam soils rich in humus are most suitable for potato. Light soils are preferred because they tend to promote more uniform soil temperature, 
and make harvesting of the crop easier. Acidic soils are suitable but not alkaline or saline soils. Climate Potato is a cool season crop. It thrives best in cool region where there is sufficient moisture. Satisfactory tuber growth occurs if soil temperatures are between 17 to 19 degrees Celsius. Tuber development virtually stops if temperatures rise above 30 degrees centigrade. At higher temperature, the respiration rate increases and the carbohydrates produced by photosynthesis are consumed rather than stored in the tuber. It grows best under long day conditions. Sunshine along with cooler nights is essential for reducing the spread of diseases. Now let's discuss about the different varieties of this crop potato. The varieties common in India are Kufri Alanka, Kufri Anan, Kufri Asoka, Kufri Batsa, Kufri Bahar, Kufri Chamatkar, Kufri Chandramukhi, Kufri Chipsona L, Kufri Chipsona 2, Kufri Dewa, Kufri Giriraj, Kufri Himalini, Kufri Jawahar, Kufri Jivan, Kufri Khasi Garo, Kufri Lalima, Kufri Lavankar, Kufri Mutu, Kufri Navin, Kufri Pukraj, Kufri Silman, Kufri Serpa, Kufri Sinduri, Kufri Swarna, etc. Now let's come to the cultural practices of this potato crop. Let's see first field preparation. A well pulverized seed bed is required for good tuberization of the crop. After plowing, two to three cross harrowings and one rotavator plowing for finer soil should be done. One or two plankings are also needed to make the surface smooth and level. Seed treatment. The sprouted tuber seed should be used as planting material. Both the whole and cut tubers should be treated with 0.25% aritan or tafashan, 6% mercury solution for at least 2 minutes. Dipping of cut seed tubers in 0.5% ditain M45 for 10 minutes is also effective in avoiding rotting in early planting. Let's see about the seed rate and spacing requirement for this crop. Tubers having 30 to 50 gram weight are the most economical and give the highest yield. Whole tubers should be planted for early crop. This will avoid rotting of tubers. Distance between rows should be 55 and 60 cm and between the plants 20 and 25 cm. About 20 to 25 quintals of seed is sufficient for planting one hectare area. Now let's come to method of planting. There are three methods of planting in India. The first one is planting potatoes on ridges. Planting of potato is done on the ridges with the help of kurpi at a distance of 45 to 60 cm with the help of a spat. Flat method. Planting of potato is done on the flat surface in shallow furrows. Ridges are made after germination when plants attain 10 to 12 cm height. This method is suitable for light soils. The third method is planting potatoes on flat surface followed by ridges. In this method, field is prepared and then shallow furrows opened on the flat surface. Potatoes are planted in furrows and immediately after planting, tubers, small ridges are made. Later on, these ridges are made thick by arting up of the side soils. Let's discuss about the planting season and time of this crop. In India, sowing of potato depends on the agroclimatic situations. However, in general, sowing is done between last week of September to last week of October. In the hills, sowing can also be done in February. Now let's come to manures and fertilization of this crop. 
recommended dose of nitrogen, phosphorus and potash per hectare for different regions are 80, 120, 60 to 80 and 100 to 120 kg per hectare respectively depending on the agroclimatic and soil conditions. FIM at the rate of 10 to 15 tons per hectare is advisable. Let's see the water management condition of this crop. Potato crop is very much responsive to good water management. In no case, water should reach more than two thirds height of the ridges. As a rule, soil must be kept always moist, but hardening or too wet conditions of the soil should be avoided. In medium to heavy soils, three to four irrigations shall be sufficient. On the other hand, in sandy soils, having low water table, even 8 to 12 irrigations may be necessary. Weed management and arting up. Weed management is restricted to integrated weed management involving one pre-emergence herbicide application like basalin or pendimetallin at the rate of 1 liter per hectare, followed by one hand weeding after 30 to 45 days of sowing. Arting should be done when the plants are 15 to 22 centimeters high. Generally, arting up is done at the time of top dressing of nitrogenous fertilizers. Let's discuss few diseases and their control measures. The first disease is lead blight. This disease is caused by a fungus called Phytophthora infestans. The disease may attack almost any time after the crop has put up fairly good foliage. On tubers, greenish sunken areas may be seen. Control measures for this disease. The first one is the infected plants materials in the field should be properly destroyed. The second one is resistant varieties like kufri naphtal may be used. The third one is spraying with Dytin M45 or Dytin Z78 at the rate of 2.5 kg per 1000 liters of water per hectare. It's helpful and repeated at 10 to 12 days interval. The next one is bacterial wilt and brown rot. This disease is caused by Pseudomonas solanaceum. The most common symptom of the disease is sudden wilting of the plants. Eyes of tubers are also blackened. Let's see the control measures for this disease. Certified seeds from brown rot disease should be planted. The second one is if cut potato tubers are used they should be kept at 12 degrees Celsius for four days so that the cut surface hardens. The third control measure is that the crops debris should be collected and burned. The next disease is wart disease. This disease is caused by fungus Syncutrium endobioticum. The disease is found in Darjeeling Hills. This disease is recognized by appearance of tumors or warts on the tubers, stems and stolons of the potato plant. Let's see how to control this disease. The first control measure is what affected tubers should not be planted. Second one is grow what immune varieties. And the third measure is the tuber can also be treated with the solution of eritan or agalor. Now let's see about the insect pest management of this crop. The most common insects found in this crop are cutworms. The damage is caused by the caterpillars by cutting off the growing potato plants. They may cut the twigs, leaves or enter potato plant above the soil surface. During daytime, they remain hiding in the soil and in the night, they miss the crop. In the later stage, they also feed on the tubers and thus reduce their market value. Let's see the control measures for this. The first one is 
Flooding of field reduces the activity of the caterpillars. The second measure may be use of TEMIC 10Z at the rate of 8 to 10 kg per hectare during sowing has been found effective in controlling this insect. The third measure may be use of carbofuran 3Z at the rate of 30 kg per hectare during sowing which has also been found very effective. The next insect is leaf hoppers. The nymphs and adults suck the cells up due to which the leaves become yellowish and plants lose their vitality. Besides, leaf hoppers transmit viral diseases in potato which reduces the yield of the crop. Let's see about the control measures for this insect. Application of carbofuran 3Z, Temic 10Z or Timet 10Z during sowing controls the leaf hoppers along with other pests. The next insect is white grub. The damage is done mainly by the grubs which remain in the soil. They damage the plant by feeding on the underground portion, namely roots, stems and tubers. Let's see the control measures for this insect. Heptachlor 3% dust may be applied or aldrin 5% dust at the rate of 45 to 60 kg in the soil before sowing and mixing properly with the soil. Use of carbofuran 3Z or TIMAT 10Z at the rate of 30 kg or TEMIC 10Z at the rate of 15 kg per hectare at the time of sowing is recommended. The next disease is potato tuber moth. This is mainly a pest of stored potato but it causes damage in the standing crop also. The caterpillar mines the leaves, causing patches in them. The damage done by the caterpillars to potato in store is much more serious. Let's see the control measures for avoiding this insect. The first one is, only healthy potatoes should be kept in the store. In case they are to be kept in ordinary stores, a layer of sand about 2.5 to 5 cm thick should be kept below and above the hip of the potato. Third measure is potato seed should be protected by spraying 1% malation on and around the hip. Now let's discuss about the harvesting procedures for potato. The crop should be harvested when homes start yellowing and falling on the ground. At this stage, homes should be removed at ground level. The crops should be harvested about 15 days after cutting the homes. Digging is done with spades or kurpi in small fields. Suitable tractor operated potato diggers are available now for digging potato in big fields. There should be optimum moisture in the soil at the time of harvest. The clots hinder the efficient functioning of potato digger. After digging, the potato tuber may be allowed to dry on the ground for some time in the set. Let's see about the yield potential of potato. With recommended package of practice, a yield of 300 to 400 quintals per hectare can be obtained. However, in the hills, except lower valleys, the yields do not go beyond 250 quintals per hectare. After discussing all the aspects of potato cultivation, let's come to the conclusion part of this topic. Potato being called the king of curry in India has ample scope in the market. It is an inevitable item in every Indian kitchen besides its value in every fast foods and snacks. Although the existing yield level is quite low as compared to other countries, Technologies have been developed for yield enhancement through research in crop production and crop improvement in the country. 
development of new methodological approaches and crop production and crop protection techniques as per the natural resources availability of the country is gaining momentum. Scientific cultivation, farmers awareness for maximizing production and productivity at par with developed nations of the world and adopting integrated approach for sustainability in potato cultivation needs priority in the era of crop diversification.